Building LLM applications that survive production is hard. Flaky networks, inconsistent provider errors, and moving rate limits turn simple call the model code into a thicket of retries, back off, and bookkeeping. Teams often re-implement these patterns per provider, such as OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, or even local Olama-based models that leads to duplicated logic, brittle error handling, and surprise 4 to 9s or 500 errors that take system down or degrade user experience. And that primarily gives AI a very bad name. Resilient LLM is a minimalist but robust layer that absorbs those failure modes for you. It estimates tokens, enforces token bucket rate limits, and wraps calls with retries. It also enables you to have exponential backoff and a circuit breaker while honoring provider hints like retry after and you get one consistent interface. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install this resilient LLM and I will also be showcasing how you can embed it in your own code. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Coming back to this resilient LLM, I think it really helps even before we get it installed to understand what is happening here. So as I said, it is simply a production minded integration layer, an MIT open source project that standardizes how your app talks to multiple LLM providers while making those calls resilient by default. If you have ever implemented or even used any production grade AI application and if you are facing 400, 500 or maybe too much latency, you might really appreciate this sort of tool. So instead of sprinkling ad hoc retries or rate limit sleeps throughout your code, you use a single interface that estimates tokens, throttles fairly, uh, fairly with a token bucket and gracefully degrades when providers hiccup. The net effect is fewer uh, pages, I would say, or pages, and maybe more predictable uh, percentile of your response time, which really matters a lot. So let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. If you're looking to rent a VM, GPU, or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Now I'm just simply going to use it with OpenAI's model, but you can use any provider. Doesn't matter which provider you use, the basic concept is to see how can we rate limit or how can we control that provider in order to make sure our application is resilient. One prerequisite you would need for this is Node installed. I have this version of Node installed and I have this version of NPM installed. If you don't know how to install these two things, just search my channel and you should be able to find a very easy to understand video as how to get these installed. And now let's do the hands-on demo. I'm just creating this directory in order to create a simple project. And then let me initialize it with NPM. And that is done. Next up, let me set um, ESM to match the library's import style. And that is done. Let me also open it in my VS code so that I could show you the code. And this is our new project. Let's go back. And from here, let's also initialize that and create this new project. And our project is created. Next up, let me set my open AI's API key. You can use Anthropic's key or even third party providers like Open Router, Grok, or whatever. Doesn't matter really, but if you're following along using OpenAI, then just go to platform.openai.com and grab your key. Remember that it is a paid option. So let me set my key and clear the screen. And this is the code which I'm going to use in order to showcase this. So this script is building a small resilient demo that calls an OpenAI chat model via resilient LLM. And then also I am calling the Anthropics model. So what we are trying to do here, we are importing the library in a way 
that works similar to whether the package exports it or not but more importantly we are doing token estimation we are doing rate limiting and everything so it is doing bounded retries with exponential backoff and and then also optional overall timeout if you go through this code where i'm using multiple models both anthropic and also open ai i'm just making it bit scalable okay so let's now run this i'm just going to run this mjs file from my terminal and there you go this is the run now if i'll just take you up and show you what it looks like so you see what it has done here this run is showing that resilient llm is orchestrating calls across providers with resilience primitives it starts with openai then it hits a sort of 429 i would say and which make marks OpenAI out of service and then seamlessly switches to Anthropic, which returns Paris, which is the capital of France. That is the prompt which I was asking it. Now, what is happening here under the hood is that a you know, subsequent request um, which encounters any overload, it does exponential back off and then cross the failure threshold. The circuit breaker opens and then the traffic shifts to Google Gemini, which succeeds with a concise comparison of Paris versus Lyon. And yes, of course, you would have to set all of those keys in Thrope Google if you're also following along. But the major concept is that um, this whole project is primarily um, doing token estimation, rate limit, getting retry back of timing, circuit transition. And when I say circuit transition, it primarily means closed, open, half open, closed, and then provider switch over. And also a final snapshot of the token bucket. And when we say token bucket, it simply means uh, requests used, estimated tokens, queue length, refill time, and so on. So pretty good project. And um, I'm quite impressed at how this is maintaining uptime and predictable behavior is there too. Of course, there are a lot of room for improvement, but just a start and would be really good to have something like this in Python because that is the language I use mostly in my projects instead of a node. And while we are talking about the AI projects, I just want to introduce you uh, to something that I have recently started. So if you're looking to build an AI project commercially of any sort, whether it is um, audio, video, or RAG, or whatever, whatever modality is there, whatever your use case is, happy to build it for you. I already have been uh, building a lot of AI projects across the globe for various clients in every modality, almost um, for all the use cases. So if you're interested in a real deployment and development of an AI project, please reach out and happy to help out. The details are at the front of the channel's homepage. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.